Welcome back to Volcors Exposed. I'm Nathan Kirk, and I think you guys are being a lot harder on yourselves than you need to be. Let's get into it. So, pretty much, I think that... And I'm just going to dive right into it. Um, I see a lot, especially lately, I don't know if it's because the use of social media is like just, just a lot more like volume, especially if there's a lot more people using social media, I should say, but I've noticed, um, a lot of the youth, uh, seems to be hitting a burnout phase in their life, uh, or a dead end or an obstacle and I'm just seeing a lot more and more and more lately and I gotta tell you I've, I've been there too many times actually I'm definitely not afraid to admit it um, that you know majority of my life well at least my adult life my teen life I felt very lost or it felt like I was on autopilot kind of seemed like I was just aimlessly just roaming around with no idea no plan no goals and the goals that i did have seemed unrealistic or it seemed like i was kind of you know dreaming too big or dreaming too much out, outside of the box and i noticed lately that there's just so many people especially my age even creeping in their 30s feel just so helpless and lost and tired and i mean it could be a lot of things it could just even be the economy everyone's working their asses off for you know minimum wage or even even above minimum wage but just basically the cost of living it just seems like they're getting nowhere or a lot of people go to university or college and that college degree seems or renders useless because it doesn't meet up to the cost of living, especially here in North America, Canada, especially with the way everything's going. But I don't want to get into that, because otherwise I'm just going to start talking about politics, and I'm sure you guys don't want anything to do with that. Um, but I see a lot that everyone is just beating themselves up constantly. And I'm no expert, I'm no therapist, um, I do highly recommend you speak to a therapist. I, prom I definitely promote that. I definitely advocate for that. So, um, I do recommend, um, seeking counseling or a therapist of some kind. Uh, I do recommend better help, not sponsored by them, but they are phenomenal. They're affordable and you could switch therapists at any time with no additional cost. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, if, if you seem that, um, especially with daydreaming, because I did a lot of daydream, but if you find yourself that you're working right now listening to this, and you do, your, and you do a lot of daydream, like, what am I going to do tomorrow? What am I going to do next week? What am I going to do next month? And what is that even going to equal out to? Will I feel satisfied with any type of achievements that I've made? And you know what? I just, I just, I just remember hearing this really great quote i forgot where i heard it but it, it's like you know you're 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 in the woods um you're lost and it might be dark or you don't know which way to go because you can't see anything um and that's pretty much like the analogy you don't know which way to go in life but if you can see your next step then that's sorry chloe's just barking in the background but if you can see your next step then that's what you should take and at least taking one step into the direction that you at least want to go in that is a lot better than nothing that's a lot better than not even attempting to um to make any steps at all and you know i just see so much burnout uh and i was in this phase you know, I was definitely all of 2023, really. I definitely want to say all of 23. I don't know what happened. 2022 seemed pretty okay. And then I just started going downhill from there. 
I don't want to say, I don't want to blame it on my, on, on like my job. I think it was just me. It was an attitude problem. And it's, it's not even like a fully, um, it was just so, it was just so freaking hard just to accept the fact that like, I, I have to change my perspective on life. And that's just me. I'm not saying you should change your perspective, but for me personally, I just wanted to do like a million things at once. And there was no clear direction as to as as to what it was or 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 how to even get to that point to that goal, if that makes sense. You know. Um and I just want whoever's listening, I just want you to know that everything is going to be perfectly fine. Um, and like what Bill Burr says, like, why isn't it better just to live life, you know, pretending or acting like everything is going to be fine and everything is okay up until the point that it isn't, and then you could just deal with it then. And it's so true because my anxiety and I guess my personality trait is that I'm always thinking in in to the future. I'm always thinking ahead. And that's not a bad thing. But in my case, I'm always worried about something. I'm always overthinking about something constantly, constantly overthinking. My the gears are always just going in my head about something that is either, you know, five minutes from now or two weeks from now or a month from now. And I'm always thinking about it and it's so hard for me to be in the moment and this bleeds into like even my hobbies it's hard for me to be in the moment i carry a camera around with me all the time taking photos and videos of my friends um always snapping photos and whatnot and i find myself i'm stuck behind the camera capturing everyone instead of just being with everyone and in the moment moment and it's just I don't know. I just, I just feel. I just, I just hit a a point in my life where it, I felt so blocked, and I couldn't. I can't even describe. But I'm sure a lot of you feel this way. I, like it's just such a overwhelming tiredness. Like it's not a tiredness that you got a lack of sleep. It's not a tiredness that you just went to the gym, and it's. It's just, it's just a really weird droning autopilot tiredness. And over time, it starts to get depressing because you really can't fully understand what you want to do in your life. And as kids growing up, especially in the school system, they're always, always pushing for that got to know what you want to do you got to go to college you got to know at least what type of education you want to uh pursue in in terms of a career yeah, it's crazy your brain's not even fully developed yet like your brain's not even, your brain isn't even fully developed till like you're in your third in your 20s your mid 20s you know and i remember gosh i i remember looking at a career and thinking to myself i can do that i want to do it and then a month would go by and I'm like, oh man, why did I think that was a dumb idea? How could I possibly think that was a, a logical decision I could have made to, to choose that career path? And then I would choose another one in my head. Like, okay, that one, that's solid. Another month would go by. It's like, that was, that was a dumb idea. Now that's just me. I'm just very indecisive. But a, a good rule of thumb that I use for anything, even when it comes to even spending money on something that I think I want um, I usually just wait it out for a month or two or three, um, depending on what it is. And if I want it still, then I'll get it. Same thing with a job or a career. Then I'll go for it. I'll put time and effort into it. And, um, yeah. So if, if you're feeling stuck or lost um i get it 
I totally understand. And what got, what helped me personally, and I don't know if you guys want to work this in to, you know, your routine. Every morning, um, I would get up and I would make my bed. I don't know what it is about making the bed, but it just, it just prioritizes. Like it just, it's a set in stone, like a uh, rhythm that I get into after making my bed. It's like, okay, I made my bed. What's my next task? And like, cause I have ADHD. Like it's really hard for me to focus on a task. So I'm usually just bouncing all over the place and I'm not completing uh, a task before starting another one. So I don't know what it is about making the bed. It just really helps me, you know, calm down and just uh complete a task and then another task and then another task so get up make your bed you know write down uh whether it's in your notes on your phone or a physical paper and pen um write down a list of things you want to do that day um even if it's after work and it, whether it's running errands or just mundane stuff and by the end of the day when you're laying in bed at night, you can do like a mental checklist of the things you completed. And that, for me, got me out of that rut of, oh, I feel useless because I didn't do anything. And then the next day I would repeat and repeat. And then, sorry, the camera beat just stopped. But I would just keep repeating and repeating and repeating throughout the week until you know a month hits and i'll be like oh wow i actually accomplished quite a bit in one month i just before i just wasn't giving myself credit for it i wasn't actually processing that i was doing a lot instead i was just kind of putting myself down and just assuming that i just did nothing at all so yeah so if you guys are feeling that way i uh i totally get it i get it just one sec, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn B camera back on. But uh, yeah, it's not even my camera. It's just a, it's a Canon camera, it's Joseph's camera, but it's it's an older one, it's an older model, so it can only record for up to like, I think it's like 12 minutes or something. Ridiculous recording time. But uh, yeah, um, so I wonder what you guys are up to. Uh, are you driving to work again? Are you at the gym working out? Are you folding laundry, doing the dishes? Whatever it may be, but... Um, I, I want you guys to really, uh, just give yourself words of encouragement and appreciate yourself and, uh, try really, really hard not to beat yourself up. And honestly, guys, it really is true that the more you say something on a positive level, the more you say it, the more you verbally say it, even think it, um, about something that you really want, something that you're going after in life, it will happen, okay, and I didn't believe it at first, I'm like, okay, well, that's, there's no way that can, there's no way that that could possibly happen, and I started doing it, I, uh, bit the bullet, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna try to do it at least, so I, you know, for two days, three days, I just kept saying, today, today's gonna be a good day, doesn't matter what happened, today is gonna be a good day, Day, and I'm going to be okay and good things will jeez and uh sorry for the noise and good things will happen to me good things will happen for me and you know what forget about what other people say okay if, if there's something that you're going after I mentioned this before in another episode if there's something you're going after just go after it but words of affirmation uh words of encouragement and just self uh, um, I, I just say like self-healing don't do any self-sabotaging just keep telling yourself and believe me it works just keep saying today is going to be a good day the second you wake up today is going to be a good day and I'm going to be okay something great is going to happen for me and something great is going to happen to me and you know what if you want you can also bring other people into this too you also think about other people somebody that you want uh, something good to happen to you can you can you can just really amplify that verbally. If you're in your car, scream it at the top of your lungs. Sounds crazy, but I did it. And you know what? I actually relieved a lot of stress and anger um, that I had kind of pent up. So in the car, on your way to work, say today is gonna be a good day. At work, 
it's going to be an easy shift or, you know, it's going to be um, an easy go around or I'm going to get that sale or I'm going to get that commission I'm trying to aim for. Um, just, just keep, just keep like over and over again saying that. And I, I guarantee you it'll work. It'll work. There are certain things in my life that just, just dramatically happened just for me doing that and amplifying that. So yeah. Um, I mean, with that being said, even though things went pretty well for me in the last few months, I'm not going to stop moving forward. Uh, I'm not going to stop climbing the ladder and I'll, I'll keep going. I'll keep going because I'm still in my twenties. I'm going to try as many things as I possibly can get as much knowledge as I possibly can and, uh, get as much experience as I possibly can. And you know what, if you're in twenties right now, right now, and you're just, you're sitting there at a job that you don't like, try to get another one, try to aim for a job that, that piques your interest at least a little bit and go for that job. You know, maybe five, six months into that job, you don't like it, move on to the next one. You're in your 20s, this is a trial period, and you should be gaining experience. And it took me a long time to understand that. I turned The second I turned 20, it felt like my life was over. I kept telling myself, why am I not successful? Why am I not in college? How come I don't have a, a, a master's degree in something? Like, I, I should, be, should be, like, wealthy right now. I feel like my whole life was crumbling around me at 20 years old. And I'm, I'm, I'm almost, I'm going to be 26 in April. And, you know, it, it took me a while to realize like, oh, okay. So this really is just, you know, <laughs> just like a, a free subscription, if you will. You know, I, I, it's, and when I, when I got that, in, that type of mindset, I was like, okay, you know what? Screw everybody else around me. People telling me, well, why would you quit your job? That's crazy. That's risky. Like, who cares if it's risky? What are you going to do? Live in, live in what ifs your whole life? Come on, guys. So there's nothing you can lose by taking a leap in something that you want or have interest in. And I know the economy is complete shit right now. Hopefully it gets better. Like, to be honest, I don't. I can't see it getting better in the, in the next year or two. But at least try to do something. Try. Even like I, the, the most recent episode that covered, like travel, travel, travel to as many places as you possibly can. But if you're stuck in this rut right now and you feel completely lost and you feel completely just so crippled and that depression is settling in. I just need you to know, I really need you to know that everything is going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. And I struggle with depression myself. The closest people that I loved struggle with chronic depression. And I sp spent most of my, especially early teens and late teens, being there for them and comforting them and making sure they were being okay. And I forgot all about myself and my needs and my mental health and then by the time I hit my 20s it all started coming back to me at once and I fell into a very deep depression it was very hard for me to get out of it but I promise you if you meditate every day in the morning for at least five minutes and really tell yourself that today is gonna be a good day I guarantee you what you're running for, what you're after, what you're chasing, it's going to happen. Maybe it will happen in two days. Maybe it will happen in three weeks. Maybe it will happen in six months. Maybe it will happen in five years. But it's going to happen. If you keep that mindset, nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, can defeat you. It sounds completely bonkers, but... I did it, I tested it, and my life only improved from there. And honestly, you might not even see dramatic changes, but you might even see a mundane change happen, and it might bleed into 
something more or it might grow into something more positive and you don't even see it yet you don't even you won't even realize that this small thing is gonna is gonna what's 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 gonna change your life so that's why you have to every day keep telling yourself that it's gonna be okay and you got to keep that momentum going it's like you know it's like a train you know on slippery tracks trying to go up a hill if it loses that momentum even once it's going to slide right back down the hill so you have to you got to keep telling yourself every day otherwise you lose that momentum the second those negative thoughts get in your head that's self sabotage it's uh it sounds it sounds crazy i know it sounds like i'm being overly positive which is a thing by the way there there's a there's a thing called toxic positivity and i i knew a couple of people that that had toxic positivity and it seemed to have been much I'm not gonna lie so if you're wondering what toxic positive positivity is is if you know somebody that's just like super positive and you try talking to them and they immediately say it's like oh you just gotta be positive have a better mindset have a better attitude than that uh or it could be worse and that was one thing i kept saying that i got out of real quick it's like oh it could be worse well, objectively, it can be worse depending on the situation you're in. But um, yeah, toxic positivity is just one of those things where people really shut you down and railroad your feelings or um, maybe your struggles that you're going through. They railroad it with just, you know, positive, positive, positive. And one thing that I learned is that when somebody's talking to me and they're feeling down or they're feeling depressed or they get really emotional you know i don't immediately jump into with like yeah well you just gotta gotta we're gonna get through this it's, it's gonna be better it's gonna have a better mindset and have this and then instead i just say you know what i'm just gonna sit here and be with you for a moment I'm just going to sit here and listen to you because that's realistically, that might be all somebody needs is just to be listened to. Sometimes they don't need you to railroad them with solutions because at the end of the day, the only one that's going to make that change is them, not you. So instead of being too positive when somebody is, you know, down or depressed, or maybe they had a rough day at work, just sit there and be in general. All you have to say is it's like, Sure, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be here for you in this moment, or if something bad happened and they start, they get emotional, you know, it's where I'm just gonna sit here and, you know, I'm just gonna listen to you, because that's all they need in that very moment. And if they, if they come to you, asking for advice, you need to give them advice. You know, it might not be advice that they want to hear, but they asked for it, and you can give it to them. If they want to take it, they can take it. If they want to leave it, they can leave it. But that's up to them. So toxic positivity is a real thing. And if you know somebody in your family or your friend group, just try to distance yourself just a little bit. I wouldn't say distance yourself all the way, but just, just a little bit. And just pump the brakes on that relationship because it could be too toxic. And learning how to read that is a very, very, very good tool. So... Um, I think that, um, again, kind of backtracking, being, uh, giving us yourself that encouragement is the strongest tool. So again, in the morning, keep telling yourself it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good week. Um, but with that being said, it is okay to be in your lows and it's okay to just sit there and just really take in why you feel the way that you feel. Um, instead of instead of working on being happy and working on being positive when you're feeling low, because sometimes that's what makes it even more exhausting, is being like, oh, I'm sad right now. I gotta be happy. Sometimes that's what the self sabotage is. You focus so hard on being happy. Oh, there goes the the B camera again. But we're. Uh, almost running out of time but sometimes you focus on being happy that it kind of tires you out mentally so it's okay to be in the lows it's okay to be in the lows just make sure you understand um that in the moment you can just kind of think about it and just really submerge yourself in that and meditate on the problem so i'm gonna close this episode 
with um, basically anyone who's feeling stuck. You're going to get through it. I guarantee you it's, it's going to work. So please get up in the morning, make your bed, get that routine, tell yourself it's going to be a good day. And if somebody you love is struggling, you know, tell, tell yourself that I hope they're, I hope they succeed. I hope whatever they're chasing, they finally get it. Cause that's what they, that's what they deserve. All right. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, hopefully I start the vlogs back up again on my YouTube channel, just Nathan Kirk. You can search that up on YouTube and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Peace.